Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video ay uh, mag-aaral tayo ng panibagong series, no? ang series natin on percent. At uh, dito sa series na ito, pag-aaralan natin kung ano ba ibig sabihin ng percent, uh, kung saan ba siya ginagamit sa tunay na buhay, sa real life, at paano ba siya kinocompute or ginaga- uh, ano bang ginagawa sa kanya during uh, computation. No? So, let's read the problem. The grade 7 class at Rojas High School consists of 100 students. Of these, 60 are girls and 40 are boys. So what fractional part of the class consists of boys? What fraction represents the number of girls in the class? So, ang tinatanong in both, dun sa both questions ay percent, no? Uh, sorry, sorry, hindi siya percent. But rather, uh, fractions, no? Yung fractional part. So, sabi niya, uh, what fractional part of the class consists of boys? So, ibig sabihin, fraction ang sagot natin and we have 40 oh, out of 100, di ba? 40 out of 100. And then, the girls are 60 out of 100 or 60 over 100. So, yun yung fractional representations ng girls and boys dun sa klase. Now, there is another way to represent 40 over 100, no? At yung representation na yun, tinatawag natin na percent. Now, yung percent, ang ibig sabihin ng percent, ang pinaka-origin niya ay uh, sa word na per centum. This is a Latin word. Per centum. This is a Latin, no? Which means, which means, Out of 100. Okay? So, pag sinabi mo percent, out of the 100. Out of 100, ang ibig sabihin niya, out of 100. Sa so, isang daan, is ilan. So, yung out of 100, yun yung uh, percent, no? So, kaya yung 40 out of 100, pwede natin siyang isulat na 40 percent, no? At 60 over 100, Pwede natin siyang isulat na 60%, no? Tama ba? So, kung sinabi natin na uh, 80 over 100, pwede natin siya sabihin na 80%, no? At kung 95 over 100, pwede rin natin siya sabihin na 95%. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang uh, percent is another way of uh, writing a fraction whose denominator is 100. Now, uh, una-una na ako dito, no? but, but uh, this is the sign. No? Ang ginagamit natin sa percent, and I know lahat kayo ay merong, uh, may familiar na kayo dito. No? So, this is supposed to be percent kasi hindi pa natin na-introduce, but I'm sure a lot of you already know this symbol. No? So, yan yung uh, symbol ng percent. No? So, pag sinabi mong 40%, 40 over 100, pwede mo siyang isulat as 40% at yung 60 over 100 natin pwede natin siyang isulat na 60% no? kasi 60 out of 100 now uh, napag-aralan na rin natin na um, yung 40 over 100 no is equal to 0.4 no i-divide lang natin yan makukuha natin is 0.4 ibig sabihin yung 0.4 is also equal to 40% no so yan yung mga dapat niyo tandaan pa paano mag-convert pero pag-aaralan natin yan later um, ang isa pang dapat niyo malaman is uh, uh ang fraction any fraction can be also be written uh, as percent and any decimal can also be uh, written as percent so again, paano naman kung sinabi nating 35%? Ano ibig sabihin naman yan? 35% is the same as 35 out of 100. No? This is equal. Sorry. Kapag sinabi mong, uh, what else? Uh, 85% is also equal to 85 over 100. And 125% means 125 over 100. So, yun lang talaga yung pinaka-concepto ng percent. It means per 100, 
or out of 100. Okay, so percent comes from percentum. Percentum is a Latin word. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa video na to. Ano, ang susunod natin pag-aaralan ay uh, we will have more examples on uh, percent and other representation. Maraming salamat. Gusto kayong invite sa zip9.com. Nandiyan yung ating website. And of course, if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can uh, subscribe dun sa... Uh, you can click the subscribe button below the video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.